doing our work on these two sets of idioms, keep and hold. And there's a few extra bits and bobs coming up here, but, but basically it's all idioms around keep and hold. Um, so here are a few. Keep my eyes open, it means to pay attention to things, to really concentrate and be focused. If somebody says keep your eyes open, they're asking you to watch out, pay attention. Keep a straight face is to stop yourself from smiling or laughing even when you really want to. So you're in this situation and you know you mustn't laugh and something is happening inside and you're really trying to keep a straight face. I've heard another one. Have you ever heard of poker face? You know, when you're playing poker you have to keep this like really straight face. Uh, but that's more to do with gambling and stuff like that. To pull your leg means to play a joke on someone, to trick them for fun. Somebody said the word teasing, yeah. Now, so pulling your leg, obviously when you're joking, it can have positive effects or negative effects. So be careful when you're pulling people's legs, please. To keep in touch with someone means to maintain regular contact. If you keep in touch with someone, you call them every day or every week or every month or every hour, whatever that means to the two people. If you keep me company, you come and you stay with me because I feel lonesome or lonely. I just like the word lonesome that somebody said today. Thank you for that word. If I want to keep myself to myself, I like to be private. If he keeps himself to himself, he likes to be private. If she keeps herself to herself, she likes to be private. And a lovely one over there from Flore. If they keep themselves to themselves, they like to be private. So you can really play with these two words. Now, if you need to keep up with somebody, you need to keep the same pace. Now, the story I told was all around walking and trying to keep up their pace, but it could be to do with anything. That's why I love these idioms. They're to, they, you can put them into so many different contexts. So my context was about walking, but in this, you could use it, say, someone's learned, two people are learning, and one is learning faster, you are having trouble keeping up with the, the speed of that person's learning. So it's not all about the speed of someone's walking or running, but it could be learning, it could be to do with any skill. If two people are like working, one's better than the other, this one's maybe trying to keep, keep up with that one. If you need to keep out of something, you don't get involved. Basically, two people are arguing, they say, come here, what do you think? You say, no, 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 I'm keeping out of it. I'm keeping out of it. I don't want to get involved in your argument. To keep off something, maybe I need to put a little something here, is when you don't talk about something for a particular reason. Say, you, for me, I keep off the subject of my friend's last marriage because it brings up a lot of stuff. You don't want to talk about it. That's fine. I struggled here today, and I haven't looked it up, whether it's keep your temper or hold your temper. Now, I think it might be keep your temper, because the opposite of keep is lose. And when you lose your temper, you get really angry. So it might be keep, but I like hold as well. So keep or hold your temper means to control your anger. You feel quite angry, but you hold your temper. You keep your temper. You don't get angry, even though inside you feel angry. So over here are the hold idioms. If you hold your head high, you feel really proud. If you hold something against somebody, you continually remind them or punish them for something they did in the past, some mistake they did. You just can't forgive them. You bring it up in conversation, you no longer trust them with that thing, they made a mistake, and you can constantly hold it against them. Uh, if you hold out, it means to last, it means to keep going, even though you know it's a struggle, okay? So um, we, we did a couple of contexts on this one this week. Uh, in my story, it was I had trouble holding out on my long walk, but luckily Andy was feeding me chocolate, so I managed to hold out. And on the lesson on Tuesday, the, the example was the supplies held out. So the supplies lasted. You know, they were on a desert island and they had to be careful, but the supplies lasted until they were rescued. To hold something back means to hide something. So someone tells you, hey, what happened to you today? And you're telling the story, but you're holding things back because you don't want to tell them everything. Uh, and that's basically it, except somebody mentioned this word today, a feud. 
A feud is a bitter fight, and I wanted to add it because it's such a lovely word. I've missed something? No, I haven't missed anything, that's it. Thank you very much.